Good day everyone. Today I'm going to answer the journalizing part of problem number 18. So let me read the given problem. Violeta Nunes won a concession to rent out bicycles in the Quezon Circle during the summer. During the month of April, Nunes completed the following transactions for her bicycle rental business. So, ano yung mga accounts under her business? So, meron tayong cash, accounts receivable, supplies, container, bicycles. So, yan yung mga assets. Under naman sa liabilities, we have accounts payable. Okay, and then for the owner's equity, we have Nunez Capital, Nunez Withdrawals, rental revenues, wages expense, maintenance expense, repair expense, and concession fee expense. Now, ito naman yung format ng ating journal entries. Meron tayong date, accounts and explanation, the debit, and then the credit side. So, for April 2, began Nunes began business by placing 120,000 in a business checking account. So, ibig sabihin, meron siyang investment, cash, worth 120,000. So, that will of course, debit, cash, 120,000, tapos credit natin doon sa kanyang capital, Nunes capital, 120,000. cash debit 120,000 tapos credit natin sa Nunes Capital hundred twenty thousand. that is to record investment April 3 Purchase supplies on account for 1,500. So, ang ibig sabihin ng purchase is bumili ka. Right? Ng supplies. So, that will of course increase your supplies. But take note, you purchase that on account. So, that will also be recorded as an account payable. So, utang siya. Okay? So, you have to take note that once na mag-purchase ka on account, that will be recorded as a liability. So, for April 3, that will be debit supplies, 1,500. Then, credit natin siya sa accounts payable, 1,500. record supplies on account ok so April 4 purchase 10 bicycles for 25,000 paying 12,000 down and agreed to pay the balance in 30 days so ibig sabihin bumili ka ng bicycles na 25,000 at binayaran mo lamang siya ng, uh, ng 12,000 rather so ilan yung remaining amounts so of course 25,000 minus 12,000 13,000 now kailan natin babayaran yung 13,000 so that will be paid the balance in 30 days so ibig sabihin utang yun siya ang 13,000 so for April 4 that will be the transaction will be debit bicycles 25,000 so binayaran na natin siya ng 12,000 so that is cash credit naman natin sa cash 12,000 so your remaining na 13,000 that is of course an accounts payable worth 13,000 
now April 6 received 4,700 in cash for rentals during the first week of operations so nakareceive siya ng cash 4,700 so mag increase yung cash natin take note na yung business ni Nunes is rent no rent out bicycles so yung na-receive natin as 4,700 ito yung revenues sa kanyang business so that will be recorded also as a rental revenues so debit cash $4,700 post credit natin sa rental revenues $4,700 that is the record revenues okay April 8 paid 4000 in cash for shipping and installation costs considered an addition to the cost of the container to place the container at the park entrance so ang binayaran natin is 4000 in cash so yung cash natin mag decrease siya right so that is on the credit side now ang binayaran natin na 4000 that is considered an addition cost to the container so, ibig sabihin, mag-increase yung cost ng container natin. Worth 4,000. So, that is debit container. 4,000. Tapos, credit naman natin sa cash. 4,000. That is to record addition to container. Okay, so April 9. <coughs> Hired a part-time assistant to help on weekends. Now, what is our transaction for this statement? May binayaran ba tayo? May nareceive ba tayo na amount? Okay, so wala. Nag-hired lang tayo ng part-time assistant to help on weekends. So for April 9, that is no entry. Okay. Let's go to April 10. Paid a maintenance person 750 to clean the grounds. So, nagbayad tayo yun ng 750 for the maintenance. So, that will, of course, increase our expense for maintenance. No? So, debit maintenance expense 750 then credit cash 750 that is the record maintenance April 13 Received 5,000 in cash for rentals during the second week of operation So that is actually similar with the transaction during April 6 Which is debit cash 5,000 Credit rental revenues five thousand. The record revenues April sixteen. Paid the assistant four hundred eighty for a weekend's work. So binayaran natin siya ng amount for the wages right so that will of course increase our expense for the wage or wages so on april 16 debit wages 
expense 480 credit cash 480 that is the record which is expense now we have april 17 paid for the supplies purchased on april 3 so remember on April 3, nag-purchase tayo ng supplies on account, meaning utang siya, worth 1,500. Now, pagdating naman ng April 17, binayaran daw natin yung inutang natin na supplies. So, magkano ba yung inutang natin na supplies on April 3? Ayun, so we have 1,500. So, since magbayad na tayo, then our accounts payable will decrease so how uh, what is our transaction in decreasing a liability so that will be on the debit side so sa April 17 our transaction would be debit accounts payable worth 1,500 kasi yun yung amount ng inutang natin last April 3 Tapos credit cash Kasi nagbayad tayo ng 1,500 For the payment So to record Payment Of supplies Okay so On April 18 Paid 550 Repair bill on bicycles So of course That will increase our so, tingnan natin dito yung mga expenses, no? Repair expense. Then, yung pinaka-appropriate na account for the transactions. So, debit. Repair expense. $550. Plus credit cash. 550 so to record repair expense okay on april 20 received 5500 in cash for rentals during the third week of operation so, this transaction is actually similar with uh, on April 6, right? As well as on April 13. So, similar lang siya. So, debit, cash, 500, uh, 5,500. credit rental revenues 5500 okay so let's continue on april 22 paid the assistant 480 for a weekend's work so this is also similar with our transaction during april 16 which is paid the assistant 480 for weekends work so that is April 22 debit wages expense $480 tapos credit natin sa cash 480 to record wages expense okay in april 23 build a company 1100 for bicycle rentals for employees outing so meaning to say uh, pinigyan natin siya ng billing no yung customer 
So, meron pa tayong tatanggapin na revenues sa ating customer. Kumbaga, yung customer natin umutang umutang sa atin ng bicycle rentals worth 1,100. So, in this transaction, ang 1,100 will be recorded as as an account receivable. Okay? So, April 23 will be recorded as debit accounts receivable $1,100 Tapos credit natin ang rental revenues $1,100 This is the record revenues on account Okay. April 25 paid 3,000 fee for April to the park administration for the right to the bicycle concession so nagbayad daw tayo for a concession expense or concession fee expense so that will be recorded as debit concession fee expense worth 3,000 then credit cash 3,000 so to record expense ok April 27 receive 4,100 in cash for rentals during the week so ano yung magiging transaction natin nakareceive tayo ng 4,100 that will of course increase our cash no? tapos for rentals during the week this is actually similar with the transaction on April 20 debit cash 4,100 plus credit rental revenues 4,100 so this is the record revenues ok April 29 paid the assistant 480 for a weekend's work So, similar lang din siya sa April 22 na transaction. So, debit wages expense, 480. Tapos, credit cash, 480. To record, wages expense. Okay. Then lastly, transferred 5,000 to personal checking account. So, ibig sabihin, nag-transfer siya ng 5,000 sa kanyang personal na account in which that transaction pertains to a withdrawal. Right? So, that will decrease our cash worth 5,000 pesos for the withdrawal. So, ang, ang transaction natin dyan sa April 30 is debit Nunez withdrawal. Five thousand. Plus credit, cash. Kasi nagdecrease yung cash natin. Worth five thousand. To record withdrawal. Okay, so for our journal entries, to yo at the for the month of April, to na yon. Okay. This is only for journal entries.
Okay, so that's all for journalizing part for our problem number 18. So thank you so much.